All right, guys. So I'm recording on my cell phone. Also, uh, I'm gonna post both of these on YouTube. Um, I got a little bit. I didn't realize how dangerous this mirror really was. Uh, and let me explain. I got a hold of a guy's name is Mark Keys from the Pennsylvania Paranormal Association. Um, uh, and I got a hold of him actually yesterday. Me and him been emailing back and forth all day. I sent him the videos of the mirror. I uh, sent him my YouTube account. He got on there. He, uh, you know, basically talked about it a little bit. He sent the, sorry, my thing is in, in the way. He sent the uh, link of my videos to a psychic medium. Hold on. Anyways, as I was saying, sorry about that, I had to get a drink and um, I had to go do something else, uh, pause the video. Anyways, like I was saying, I did not know exactly how dangerous this mirror really was. And this Mark Keys sent a psychic medium my videos and apparently had her go on my YouTube and watch some of my videos and got her opinion on this mirror. Now, granted, I, everybody, again, they all know me. Uh, I have to see it to believe it. Do I believe it's psychic mediums? Absolutely, yes I do. But I have to get a little bit more information about this mirror first. Because what I was told is that the person who originally had this mirror, or down the line somewhere, uh, somebody had a drug and alcohol problem, and apparently committed suicide in front of the mirror. So I was told that it is not just a ghost that I am worrying about. It is for sure a demonic presence that I am dealing with. So that would explain the growls. That would explain the uh, the very deep, scary sounding hello we got. That would explain the weird fingerprints, especially the very weird long fingerprints we got on the mirror and that keep popping up. Um, nobody has touched that mirror probably within the last, I don't know, probably three weeks. And whenever, since the last time I put it in the living room and seen if what would happen and whenever I put it back, I cleaned it off and there are now a shit ton of fingerprints on that on that mirror for no reason at all. Um, here I'll even show you. If you can see them. Some of them will not come off. Like there's some right here. Like right right in there. There's fingerprints all over this mirror. Um and again some of them I just I just cannot get off. Like they just won't come off. And then there's there's those weird streaks going down the mirror that I cannot, I just, I just can't get off. I don't know why. I don't know what, what it is. I tried. I've used multiple different cleaners, multiple different kinds of rags, and paper towels. It just won't come off. But, again, that is what's going on. I got, you know advice he says to basically get the mirror out of the house until I know more about it um 
which would be a, a, a really smart idea. But the only problem is if it is a demonic uh, uh, entity, it is already in a house. It's already loose in the house. Um, so getting rid of the mirror, especially with me putting the Ouija board by the damn mirror and attempting to see what that would do, which is obviously a terrible idea. I never got anything from it, but it's a terrible idea. But considering I did that, and the orbs that I've seen literally chasing me out of the room and chasing me back into the room, it's already out. It's already in the house. Uh, which is obviously not not good for <laughs> for me, for my situation. But I came across, I don't know if anybody else heard of these. They're called the Buddha Power Me Bracelets or some shit like that. Anyways, they are believed to ward off, um, like, uh, bad energy and all that stuff. Um, and with my background, a little bit of it is, uh, you know, well, a lot of it is. Um, uh, it, it does happen to be uh, a little bit spiritual. My, uh, I'm, I was raised up Christian, uh, and I did a little bit of mixed martial arts, and I practiced a little bit of Buddhism, um, only because my, the person who was training me was, uh, he practiced Buddhism, uh, so I kind of followed that a little bit, not a lot. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I really didn't do a whole much of, you know, a whole crap ton of it, um, uh, because I just didn't understand it. That, that's you know, uh, I was I was young, I was naive, and I, you know, I didn't at the time didn't really care. Now I understand it. Now I get it um, a little bit. I'm. Happy that I was, uh, you know, I got the chance to, you know, really follow in his footsteps a little bit. You know, it was it was really cool. That's a badass little setup I have there. I have my camera or my cell phone right here and my camera up up on top of it. That's pretty badass. But anyways, I these uh, again these bracelets are. Hold on. Sorry about that. My fiance got up. She went outside for a second. But yeah, these bracelets, they're supposed to ward off bad energy and bring in, you know, good energy and, and wealth and uh, uh, good health and all that stuff, which is awesome. And I couldn't have come at a better time because literally I got them today and they're this morning and I was told a few hours ago that, you know, I basically have a demonic presence attached to the mirror or was attached to the mirror. I don't know if it still is or not, but I don't know if it's attached to the mirror or if it's attached to me. So I know something is. I just don't know if it's that, but considering everything that's been going on and the things that I've been catching and hearing, um, the things that I've been catching and hearing, you know, it, it, it would add up. So, um, with that being said, uh, it is... 10 to 1 in the morning and I'm going to add I'm going to obviously load up the um, the version of this I'm doing on my cell phone um, 
because I can now. But the one I'm doing on my camera, I'm going to um, load up later. I'm going to set my camera up for, you know, a little bit. Not too long, you know, just a little bit to uh, record for a little while uh, to see if anything would happen considering I, are, I know what the hell's going on now. So I'll see you guys later.